my question has to do with blowing insulation into the walls of an existing older house and whether or not that would be a cost effective thing to do. I've done a lot of the other things to improve energy efficiency in my home, but one of the things I haven't done is blow insulation into it. The home was built in 1925, and it is a wood and shingle construction home with plaster walls. Okay. So I'm looking for some guidance as far as whether or not this is something that I should look into. I would say it absolutely is. Mark in Albany may have something to say about this, too, but I would – actually, I think I would start with a – if you can, with an audit from a BPI certified contractor. At the very least, you want a contractor that knows how to blow cellulose insulation – that knows how to dense pack cellulose insulation in those walls. Because when you dense pack cellulose insulation, it gives you the opportunity to air seal the walls at the same time you add thermal insulation. Mark, do you have anything to add to that? No, I – you're exactly 100 percent correct about the dense pack, and that is the way to go today. The reason why your walls are probably important is that it's most of the square footage of the building that's exposed to the outside, so it has a great potential for saving energy, and particularly if they're not insulated. And the insulation techniques that have been used since the early 90s nationwide in here in New York is dense pack cellulose. And what happens is they'll drill a hole in at the bottom of the cavity and insert a tube upward to dense pack the cellulose in the cavity, as opposed to drilling two little one-inch holes to get the insulation in. We found that that method does not work that well, that inserting the tube up in the bottom of the cavity and then blowing it down, and the equipment is much, much better today that handles the cellulose as opposed to 10 years ago. So it's definitely the way to go and something that I think you should look in, but look into. But the dense pack definitely hit the nail right on the head. That is the way to go today. That's it. My home. Joe Quattro has something he'd like to add. Yeah. The gentleman asked whether the operation was cost effective, and I think you were probably referring to the payback time. I know many in the audience have heard me talk about this before, that the payback time analysis is really a flawed analytical technique because of the way it's calculated, for one thing, but it overlooks the effect that energy efficiency has on the value of a home. I led a research effort a few years ago with staff members of the National Association of Home Builders and a statistician at the Environmental Protection Agency. This has been a research interest of mine for over 20 years now. But we did come to the consensus that energy efficiency is reflected in the sale price of a home. We don't yet know the exact number that it does, but I may have an opportunity to find that out. NYSERDA has agreed to make data on Energy Star homes available to me, and I have a meeting in Washington at the Department of Housing and Urban Development in a few weeks. They may be funding the study. But all indications are that it does increase the value of your home. If nothing else, a potential buyer, when you go to sell the home, is going to ask the question, how much insulation is in these walls? 